Slow and steady wins the race is how I'd describe the current real estate market on the east side. The median closed sales price is at 1,453,000. That's up 8% from a year ago, but is down 3% on last month. But this is typical for this time of year as August closings would have gone under contract in July when many buyers pause for summer fun. Active inventory reached its peak at the end of August, totaling 698 units. Sounds like a lot, but it's 32% lower than August 2022. And I use this statistic with caution as I don't necessarily believe it reflects market activity. My main observation of today's inventory is that the good ones go. There is significantly demand for high quality homes causing the best appropriately priced homes to sell quickly. The active inventory is made up of homes that are either overpriced or have livability issues. This is supported by 34% of homes closing above list price in August. This statistic hasn't moved since June, despite the inventory increase. There are many buyers out there ready to make an offer, but they will only compete for the cream puff homes. Based on historical norms, we will see the number of new listings remain close to the average month for September, October, but drop considerably in November and December. This presents a great opportunities for sellers with an in-demand home. Well-priced, well-presented, you will sell quickly. There is also a window of opportunity for buyers as there's less competition from other buyers who have decided to wait until next year. For those willing to put in some set sweat equity, you can negotiate hard if the home has been on the market for 30 days or more. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions on what's happening in your neighborhood, please get in touch. This is Ali Mills, your key to reaching your real estate dreams.